just went through and had some gauge issues and figured I'd let everyone know what I did to fix them. So my temperature gauge kind of worked and only showed a part scale some of the time. Same thing with the uh, fuel gauge. Clock didn't work at all. Oil pressure gauge didn't work at all. Uh, was pegging out over 80. And then uh, the voltage worked when it wanted to. But one of the classic things for simple old school systems like this, where instead of a light, you've got gauges to be able to test for, especially it's easy with your temperature or with your oil pressure, go under the hood and find what they call the sender. It's just this little variable resistance thing that uh, takes the temperature or the oil pressure and puts a variable resistance on the signal coming from these gauges. And anyway, um, said that to say this, to test your gauges if they're not working, go to your, say, temperature sender, for example, and pull the boot off of the actual sender. And I forget which way it is, but open circuit, I believe, is peg out all the way to the top. And then if you ground it out, it goes all the way to the bottom. And I might have that backwards, but pull off the boot, connect it to nothing. The gauge should go all the way one way, put it to ground, the wire, not the gauge, or uh, rather, sorry, the wire, not the sender. Put that wire under the hood that's supposed to go to the sender to a ground, and then it uh, should go all the way the other way. So mine didn't respond to that at all. I could unplug the senders, ground the senders out, do whatever I wanted to, nothing happened. So I figured it was in the dash somehow. And uh, so that was a long-winded beginning. Huh? But um, this old printed circuit board, you know, if you're like me and you like vehicles from the 70s, 80s, 90s, then uh, you're going to see a lot of this garbage. Uh, and, I, and I say that, I couldn't have done any better, you know. So you see these wonderful creations. But anyway, um, it's just a printed... Uh, like copper trace on a plastic doodle and that little tissue is what makes up your uh, harness for your gauges right so all of these contacts and I've already gone through and done it you see it looks a little shiny um, there's a, uh, a specific kind of grease I use but uh, anywho you take that nut off and you can remove that black diamond shaped thing and on the two ends the two far ends there there are male brass posts take a real fine sandpaper um emery cloth whatever you know something very fine in the thousands and uh clean that up real good get all the corrosion off it spray it off with electronics cleaner and then spray it with some electronics lubricant uh to stop it from rusting again like dielectric or whatever and uh i did the same on the printed circuit board um on all these contacts for the light bulbs and these little bales and the clock is these two little contacts here but you know be real careful on the printed circuit board because it's incredibly thin copper so you only want to hit it just enough to clean it off and sometimes a paper towel with cleaner is more than enough to knock the corrosion and junk out of the way and you don't have to do that and you kind of avoid it but anyway that's what i did and uh yeah hit it with that lube reassembled it probably took me all of 10 minutes and all my gauges work now so uh yeah Simple strategy for a common problem with this era, you know, type of vehicle, and specifically the YJ. And uh, I thought it would be a little more of a pain to get the dash apart. Maybe you have to pull more pieces, but, um, and somebody never replaced a couple of the screws here, which uh, I would imagine the first time you take this apart from factory, those screws on the ends here are there, and you've got to either take this out of the way or, I don't know, I had some benefit. You might have a harder time, but for me, was able to pull out these screws above the gauges view on the face and it was almost just that simple pulled it right out i mean i've been working on this for 20 minutes and i'm basically done so if you got the same problem there you go good luck